turn on the TV and there's an ad promoting it. That has high fructose corn syrup in it. And? Or a different ad promoting its absence. Announcing the taste of all natural ingredients. But what exactly is high fructose corn syrup? It's cornstarch that has been treated to turn it into sugar. It is sugar. It's just sugar. But a lot of people aren't buying that. Just last month, parents in San Francisco forced high fructose corn syrup out of the chocolate milk in the school system. Why? They have a natural suspicion of anything in their food system that they feel is not natural. And parents say the name sounds like a chemical. Consumer experts say this backlash is not just a fad. That consumers really want foods and ingredients that sound like they came out of their refrigerators or kitchen cupboards and not a science lab. But the Corn Refiners Association is fighting back by running ads like this one. And it's finding moderation. Even as some companies are busy removing high fructose corn syrup from products, citing reasons like consumer trends. In the food industry, the consumer is king. When the consumer is very vocal about demanding changes, food manufacturers listen. But in this case, is it necessary? Chemically speaking, high fructose corn syrup is just sugar with an image problem. It starts as cornstarch, and enzymes are used to convert it into glucose and fructose. Various chemicals extract table sugar from sugar beets and sugar cane. It's also made up of glucose and fructose in virtually the same proportions. High fructose corn syrup started replacing sugar around 1980, mainly because it's cheaper. It's almost half the price of sugar, partially because the United States, the world's largest grower of corn, subsidizes farmers who grow it, and that lowers the price. The U.S. restricts the import of sugar, which raises its price. High fructose corn syrup also prolongs shelf life and gives a moist and chewy consistency, while sugar is better for crispness. You would think that the food police, the ones who yelled at us about fat and salt in Chinese food and theater popcorn, would also be yelling about high fructose corn syrup. But instead... The evilness of high fructose corn syrup has become an urban myth. Michael Jacobson blames the controversy on a 2004 study that seemed to link soft drinks sweetened with high fructose corn syrup to the obesity epidemic. They did not have one shred of evidence to back up their theory. And they eventually recanted. And they realized that high fructose corn syrup and, and sugar are essentially the same. And, uh, but they weren't able to, to put the genie back in the bottle. Overall, we still consume more sugar than we do high fructose corn syrup. The experts say we should be most concerned with something the two sugars share. And it's fructose that we're worried about. That's because it's the fructose in any sugar that goes directly to the liver, where it gets converted into fat, potentially leading to health problems like heart disease and diabetes. I do have an issue with sugar, I mean, because it's so good, <laughs> and I want it. That's my issue. There's too much of it in our diets, and we ought to be eating less of sugars generally. But there is a question whether our bodies metabolize high fructose corn syrup differently than table sugar. Scientists at UC Davis are conducting a long-term study to answer that. Results are expected by the end of this summer. Until then, call it high fructose corn syrup or call it sugar but don't call either one a healthy choice. Michelle Miller, CBS News, New York.